Last year, the state's tribal and education leaders worked together to pass Senate Bill 13, Tribal History Shared History. This monumental legislation requires that Oregon produce and share essential understandings of Oregon Indians, and then use this information to develop a statewide curriculum relating to the Native American experience in Oregon, including tribal history, sovereignty, culture, treaty rights, government, socioeconomic experiences, and current events. This curriculum will include 45 lesson plans across grades four, eight, and 10 in English language arts, math, science, social studies, and health. Yet Senate Bill 13 is about so much more. It's an invitation and an opportunity to teach the rich history of our land and its people and to pair the strengths of our education system, teachers and students, with the new knowledge and content the curriculum will establish. I'm excited about SB 13 because Native American history is U.S. history. Native American influence is often minimized or completely left out. My textbook that we use at my school calls Pocahontas a curious and willing prisoner and I can't in good consciousness continue perpetuating those myths and stories and really culturally disrespectful. I'm excited because I feel like there isn't a relationship between Native people and the education system and with this bill being passed and being implemented in schools, I feel like this is the gateway to building that relationship. My son so far in his education has had a really, really positive experience with Title VI in Indian education. That has had a really positive impact on him just to have his identity validated and reflected in school. There's a lot of potential impacts in my classroom. The first for my Native American students, they could go their entire academic career and never learn positive things about their people. They could only see negative stereotypes. The second impact would be for my non-Native students. They need to see the positive examples so that they're not perpetuating these myths and stories as well. When teachers are looking for who to reach out to in order to get information and resources regarding Native-based curriculum, they should look to tribes within their area or tribes that are closest to their school district. And you can start by calling the main office and they will connect you with whoever it may be in their culture department or in their education department to help get you the information that you need. I know in education we struggle with uh, always having new things to do and integrate into our curriculum. But this is a really important step and we benefit from multiple perspectives in our history. And so what we need to work together to do is figure out how to integrate this into what we're already teaching and not assume it's something new that replaces something old. But how do we improve our current history curriculum and integrate those perspectives to increase inclusion and make our education system better for all. Senate Bill 13, our Tribal History Shared History, has a two-year rollout plan. Um, phase one has two parts to it. The first part is that together um, between the Department of Education and the nine tribes, we develop essential understandings to be sure we're aligned throughout the whole project. Um, the second part of phase one is the curriculum development. So each of the nine tribes um, has been delivered resources so they can themselves develop a place-based curriculum that is specific to their tribes. Phase two then is what we roll into, and this is uh, where we come together with the Oregon Department of Education and the school districts, and we recognize that we have some learning to do in order to implement um, this curriculum. And the third phase is when teachers go to work in the classroom, they have the background knowledge and they have this new curriculum that's been developed by the tribes, and they begin to um, work directly with our students. Um, I think one thing that's important for us to remember about Senate Bill 13, which sounds like just any other state law, is that it is far more than a state law. Senate Bill 13 is really an agreement between the state of Oregon, its government, and the governments of each of the nine different tribes that reside here in the state. These children that we're teaching this to will be tomorrow's leaders, and they'll shape a brand new future for the state of Oregon and its relationship with each of our tribes. Our charge as a state is to create the conditions for the implementation of tribal history to be shared history. Those conditions require that teachers receive the support they need so that all students leave school empowered with accurate knowledge about their state. Senate Bill 13 is a long awaited for and fought for gift. What we do with it depends on our will. We have an obligation to Indian students to let them know that their history is no longer deleted. And we have an obligation to non-Indian students to teach the real history and contribution of tribes in Oregon. If we all pull together, we can do it.